The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I am Danielle Whaley alongside Suzanne Strudwick, the head coach of the women's golf team. Pretty impressive fall that you guys had getting ready yeah. to head into the spring now that you've released the schedule. You finished off the season with uh, finishes that were great against top yeah. opponents in the nation and started the fall, started the entire season with another huge victory at King. Yeah. So what did you notice from the uh, fall that really stood out to you? I think just that they're not afraid of their positions anymore. And I think they're starting to um, realize that they are a top team. And it's nothing to fear, but it's everything to embrace. And so they're, you know, they're, they enjoy that position. And I think they're, they're excited to go out and prove it and beat some of our conference rivals in the spring. And you're starting off the spring in such unfamiliar territory with yeah. two trips to Florida. It's a great time to go to Florida for some good competition. But like I said, it's very unfamiliar. So yeah. do you see any challenges coming along with the team in these new places? I think the, uh, the you know, we have been, I don't think anybody on the team at present, um, I think, I don't think they were on the team when we first went down. So that presents a challenge with it bringing a brand new event, um, two brand new venues. Um, but I don't, you know, we've done that. In the fall, the only return that we had was the King, and, we, you know, obviously we won that. So, um, you know, I am i don't see any. The, the, the golf courses that I've picked um, are good golf courses. They suit our players. And so with their confidence really high at the moment, eh, I, I see our, our qualifiers being extremely challenging, you know, because everybody's going to want to go to Florida in February. So, you know, that's something to work towards in the, in the winter break. I have no, you know, problem with, the, with knowing that the girls are going to be practicing and working on their game still. So whenever you go into March, you're finally back into familiar territory yeah. with events that the team has had great success in yeah. last year with the Bobby Nichols Intercollegiate and then the yeah. Sunoco Campbell Oil. Right. So what are you hoping to see from your team in terms of improvements to keep that success going? Yeah, I think just steady improvement. I mean, obviously, with you know, we are having a break. Um, so the, the, always the first couple of events is kind of like getting your feet wet, seeing where the teams are, seeing who's playing well, um, seeing if the, if the team makeup has slightly changed. You're, you're typically your last two events, you've pretty much solidified your team as to who's then going to go on and represent, um, you know, your, your school for the conference championship. So it's, um, you know, the, it will be, the, I'm really looking forward to the qualifyings at the beginning. Um, of the year and seeing you know just where everybody is who's really worked hard who's really determined to make the the travel team and and who's kept their games going and you already spoke about it a little bit with the conference championships you're yeah. obviously looking to make a return and make improvements from the yeah. seventh place showing from last yeah, season not good not good <laughs> so overall what are you hoping to what are your expectations for your team after such a positive fall like I had already me previously yeah. mentioned yeah I think the whole team I think that you know the problems that we had last year was we had one really good player with Elizabeth she was just outstanding um, and I think that, that everybody else just you know, tried to follow her coattails a little bit, but it was so obvious that the gap was so wide um, that she didn't have any team help. And so now she's got it. So I think that's going to spur her on. One of her desires, one of her goals was for us all to make regionals as she did last year and have that team, um, you know, back her up. We have that now. Um, and so we've got some older players that are just juniors, which is great. Um, but we have some young freshmen that are really pushing. And so, you know, that's been exciting. Um, and then we have some sophomores that are, are like, whoa, these freshmen can play. So we, we got to step it up. So that's for a coach, that's exactly what you want. Everybody pushing each other to get better, but everybody enjoying the process. Everybody enjoying getting better together and helping each other. That's, that's the team dynamics this year has been absolutely wonderful. So it's been a pleasure to coach them. So I'm looking forward to the spring. A lot to look forward to in the spring. Yeah. It's going to be an exciting time and hopefully yeah. just as successful as the fall. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time and good luck with the spring schedule. Thank you so much. She is Suzanne yeah. Strudwick. I'm Danielle Whaley and this is the Eagle Sports Network.